this old guy DIY video has to do with replacing the sway bar links on a 2001 Chevy Suburban. And when I looked under the truck yesterday for a different reason, I saw the link was actually missing. So I went to our buddies at Amazon and I ordered this part number and I got two of these things. So you see the bolt, the spacer, and then we have the uh, little bushings. And we're about to crawl under the truck and attach it. So all we need for this job are a 14 millimeter open end and either a socket with a 14 millimeter, I'm sorry, a ratchet with a 14 millimeter socket, or in this case, the Milwaukee Impact. And this is what I found under the truck. You can see the link is actually missing. So we can thank Gretchen for fixing the roads in Michigan. I left a chunk of steel out there somewhere. When you go to insert this on the car, it's a very straightforward job. I'm putting mine in with the bolt from the bottom. So you take the bolt and drop one washer on it. Then you can see that this thing has a smaller end that goes towards the steel of the A-arm. Then you drop the other one on top. Then you put the other washer on. Then you have the spacer, another spacer. Same deal, grabbing onto the stabilizer bar, another washer, then a nut. And then in my case, I needed to compress the sway bar down towards the A-arm so I could get that first thread. So I just used a little ratchet strap just to put a little compression on it so I could get the first thread. I'll show you that now. So I just put a little ratchet strap in here. Go in, I hope you can see that, from the A-arm up to the sway bar. And I got that first thread. Now I'll go to the other side before I tighten them both up. The stock link on the passenger side just spins and I have nothing to grab onto on the top. So it's time for it to meet my friend the Sawzall. The Sawzall made short work of that stud in the sleeve. This is what the passenger side looks like with the little strap in place. And I just tightened the thing down enough that the threads from the bolt were coming out the top of the nut. There's compression on those little bushings and we called it good. So including filming, that job took me 17 minutes. Once again, here's the part number I used for a 2001 Chevy Suburban 1500 four-wheel drive. I hope this helped you out. Have a good day.